So let's talk about polar coordinates in this video. So what we're going to start off with is just a xy ordered pair. And we want to kind of redefine the entire thing. So instead of using rectangular coordinates where you move left to right and then up and down, uh, what we're going to do is develop a system whereby you uh, rotate an angle and then you move out a certain distance. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm connecting to the origin. I'm going to call that R because we've done that kind of all year with tons of things. Call this theta. That seems like the obvious choice. Um, and then I'm going to sketch in that right triangle that has uh, one side that's x and one side that's y. So I know right away that um, r is just going to be the square root of x squared plus y squared. So Pythagorean theorem would give me that. From the right triangle, I know x over r is cosine theta. And that means that I can say that x is r cosine theta. So that's one equation. Uh, y over r is uh, sine of theta. So y is going to be r sine of theta. And then a fourth equation that I'm going to use quite a bit is a relationship between theta, y, and x. So tan of theta is going to be y over x. Or sometimes you say theta is the inverse tangent of y over x. Uh, doesn't really matter. Those are kind of the big four equations, so they're going to come up all the time. Uh, let's see how we use them. So I'm going to put those in the corner. And let's say I want to convert the rectangular ordered pair 5 comma negative 5. So first thing, I'll calculate r square root of 5 squared plus the quantity negative 5 squared. And I'm hoping you can work out that that's 5 root 2. And now I need to figure out theta. So figuring out theta is always a little bit of a challenge. Uh, and in this particular case, I know that it just cuts the fourth quadrant in half. So I move over 5, down 5, uh, which means that I just automatically know that it's a negative pi over 4. Um, so one way of writing this ordered pair is going to be r comma theta. So ordered pairs in polar are always r comma theta, which is a little weird because theta is really the independent variable and r is the dependent variable, but whatever, we go with it. They're in alphabetical order, which is nice. Um, but there was nothing kind of unique about that because of the way that I chose theta. So if I create this graph uh, here, so what I've done so far is I rotated negative pi over 4 and then I went 5 root 2. So that got me to the ordered pair. Uh, but I could have gone in this direction, 7 pi over 4. So another way of writing that uh, that coordinate rather is 5 root 2 comma 7 pi over 4. Polar coordinates are not unique. Um, so that's two ways of doing it. But what if, uh, what if I do something weird and only rotate this far? So what if I only rotate 3 pi over 4? Well, if I rotate 3 pi over 4, I'm looking into the second quadrant, but I need to end up in the fourth quadrant. So if I rotate 3 pi over 4, the way to get into the fourth quadrant is to make my r be negative. So 3 pi over 4, but now I'm going to have r be negative 5 root 2. And that also will put me at that uh, point 5, negative 5 in Cartesian coordinates. Um, so that's three different ways of representing the same point. All of them are valid. Um, so let's take a look at one more example. So let's say I have the point negative 3 comma negative 3 root 3. And I'll calculate r. So hopefully you can get that r is equal to 6. Uh, figuring out theta always kind of a, you know, an adventure. So what I'm going to think is, uh, yeah, I have the point negative 3, negative 3 root 3. But what I could have had uh, in finding theta was any angle that passes through the original point will also point, pass through the point negative 1 half, uh, negative radical 3 over 2. That's a point on the unit circle, and I actually know that angle. Um, so that's 4 pi over 3. So this uh, Cartesian point, negative 3 comma negative 3 root 3, can be written as 6 comma 4 pi over 3. But again, I could have gone uh, theta is negative 2 pi over 3, and r is 6, or I could have just gone pi over 3, and r is negative 6. Lots of different representations. Um, let's take a look at some lines. So say I have the line y equals 3x plus 5. Well, I like to write them in standard form before I convert them, uh, and maybe you'll see why in a second. So I'm replacing the x with r cosine theta and the y with r sine of theta. So you got to know those four formulas. I'm going to factor out r and get this. And then I'm just going to divide through. I'm also going to rearrange it because I like to have a positive leading coefficient there like that. Um, so that's it. And uh, lines get uglier when you write them in polar coordinates. Things that are uh, kind of circular get nicer looking, uh, and things that are not circular get uglier in general. Um, let's take a look at another one. x equals 7. So that's a, a simple vertical line. So x is r cosine theta. So r cosine theta is 7. 
I can divide through to get this, uh, but I don't really want to leave that, so I'm going to say that my answer is 7 secant of theta. Uh, how about a horizontal line? So y equals negative 5, so r equals sine of theta, uh, I'm sorry, y equals r sine theta, so I have r sine theta is negative 5, and then divide through. And again, I don't really want to leave it like that, so r is equal to negative 5 cosecant of theta. It might be worth memorizing that uh, a vertical line is going to be r equals uh, whatever, the number secant theta, and then a horizontal line is going to be r equals uh, the number and then cosecant theta, but it also might not be worth it. It depends on uh, how much effort you want to put into memorizing, because you can always just convert them, and it's not really a big deal. Uh, let's take a look at one more, so a line that passes through the origin. So we have y equals x. So these are actually a little weird. Uh, I'm going to divide through by x to get y over x equals 1. Once I get that, I can replace y over x using one of the four big formulas there with tangent. And then that means that theta is the inverse tangent of 1. And that, of course, I know is pi over 4. Um, so that's what I would do. Um, so that's a little bit of an introduction to polar coordinates. So converting uh, rectangular coordinates to polar and then converting a couple of lines. Um, I hope you found this helpful and good luck.